heard you say Meet you in the long grass Something good at long last And we're away Hello and welcome to your April Monthly Astrology. I film this in beautiful and stunning Antigua, where I went away to make a few films for you, but my face is still not totally healed. Very nearly there though, but hopefully you'll be entranced by the sea as I tell you all about the magic in store for you this April. And there's a full moon the full pink moon that's going to make us want to create balance in relationships. And thank goodness, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is going direct. Here's your astrology. on the full moon on the 10th is a full pink moon and it's also a total lunar eclipse it takes us through an emotional process a soul process to see where we are with things it brings great enlightenment and symbols and synchronicity and for you it's all about your career you're opening up to your career in a new way by tuning in to what you need to do normally you're a very practical person you're a typical Capricorn but this moon is opening you up to sensing what lies beneath the surface so pay attention now on the eighth Jupiter the planet of good fortune is going forward happy days and you're you should be feeling a lot less melancholic there may be some things that have made you really deep in thought but Jupiter is now pushing you ahead and saying find your power find your wisdom and pay attention to the depths of what's going on with others also, you're still thinking about your family and dealing with things, and Mercury and Uranus are bringing about a surprise conversation about home and family, but you're ready for it and you understand it, and actually, a lot of unexpected things have happened to you around your family recently, so you're able to deal with things and feeling strong and confident within yourself. And actually, not necessarily negative, it may be positive, amazing good news or an amazing opportunity to transform. Venus on the 11th is shifting signs and making you quite analytical about your relationships. You're thinking about how to make them healthy, how to make them work, what commitments you need to make. And if you're single, you might find yourself going within and meditating on your situation. But don't be too dogmatic, don't be too controlling. You know, you might have the best interests at heart, but you might think, right, things have to be done this way. But actually, the joy of relationships is, particularly if you're with someone who's very different to you, is that we all learn through compromise. This Venus is saying, look within, look at the little things you can shift within you to bring about more external happiness. And actually, Mercury is helping you along the way because Mercury and then Mercury and Mars are in a position for you of happiness, joy, and bouncing around feeling good. And, you know, there is a little spring in your step mid-month.
Pluto is going retrograde in your sign. That is intense. You've had to learn who you are and Pluto's probably taught you some tough lessons and led you here and led you there to transform and to change and to let go of things that no longer served you. And I'm sure you've done a very good job, but now Pluto's saying, right, I'm taking you back to the beginning. I'm taking you backwards, but I'm taking you on a journey a little bit like um, that Christmas film where the ghost of Christmas past comes up. This is what Pluto's doing. It's taking you backwards to see how you've done. But I think you've probably done quite well. You've been learning this lesson a long time. And now it's about just understanding that you have to be true to yourself. And if you could do that, I think, fingers crossed, Pluto will be gentle with you. But that's the way I see things. On the 18th, the new moon is bringing more new energy into your home and family. And it's whatever you've been working on, discussing, facilitating when it comes to your home and family. Now it's the new start, a clean slate. You can all start again and you can see your home in a new way as well. On the 20th, things really do perk up as the Sun, Mercury and Mars all enter a very cheery place and you should be optimistic, excited, give yourself a pat on the back for doing so well and learning your lessons so well. And now I think the rewards are coming. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I've got a ton of free readings, articles and films on my website, so pop over and visit me, www.michellenight.com.